Hey my lovely yogis, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are addressing uterine fibroids in women. Yoga in combination with regular exercises has proven to be an important factor for keeping your uterus healthy. It helps to release the energy as well as oxygenate and improve circulation in your pelvic region. All you need is just yourself and a mat and once you're ready, hop onto it. And let's begin. Let's begin in all fours, coming onto knees and hands, straight into Balasan or the child's resting pose, dropping glutes down to legs and forehead down to mat to relax your total body. Now coming out of it, we're going in for a forward to back hip sway, moving forward down to back down to glutes. Beautiful mobility for hips. Flexing both your foot underneath. And this time going in for big circles in any one direction. And return circles to the other side. Bittalasana and Marja Asana are the cat and the cow. Arching your back to look up to sky. And exhale to round your spine, chin down to chest. Begin to flow. Arch. To lower. Inhaling up. to exhale down. And this time you're gonna spread both your hands wider than the mat and dropping one shoulder at a time with extended arm down to the mat. Switching for left and right shoulder. Beautiful open for the upper body here. And straight diving into the upward facing dog. Moving body forward, locking your elbows, pointing your toes. And pushing ears away from shoulders to chin up to sky. Look as far as you can up, sealing the lips tight. And back to knees. Let's get into a little mini flow, taking your left leg in front of you outside your hands. Shifting body weight in front and leaping forward for Anjane Asin or the lizard lunge. Great hoping for the hips. Now flexing the bottom foot underneath and taking both your hands up straight with erected spine. If you think you can advance, you can lift your back knee up for warrior one. Now from here, hands on Namaste and twist your spine to take your right elbow down to the left knee. Hold here. Breathe. 
and hands go back down to ground. Left leg taken back straight to Balakasin or the plank pose. Engage your core. Falling down for Chaturanga. Knees down, toes are pointed. Chest down, chin down to the mat. Melting your hips down to mat and reaching up for cobra pose. Curling the toes underneath and going up for Adho Mukha Svanasana or the downward facing dog. You can straighten the legs if you can, if not stay bent on knees. Now gently march your legs left to right, lifting heels to pedal. And down to knees on all fours. Let's switch the flow on the other side. This time bringing your right leg in front. Shifting body weight and forward for Anjaneyasan. See if you can lift your head up high with lips closed. Now taking your leg to the inside and reaching your hands up straight with erected spine. Modified warrior one. If you're able to get up for a full Virabhadrasana one, you can aim to lift your knee up high. Hands on Namaste. Twisting spine to take your left elbow down to the right knee. Look up to the right shoulder. Hold. Hands go down to mat. Straight into Balakasan or the plank. Knees down, chest down, chin down, chaturanga. Sliding hips down to mat, halfway raise to bhujangasana or the cobra pose. Elbows are bent. And keep breathing out with your mouth. Flexing the foot underneath to reach back to downward facing dog. This time feet comes together. You're going to bend one leg to rotate in for hips. In any one direction. Now switch legs. Bend the knee to circles. And the leg goes down back to mat to downward dog. At this time you're going to march the heels out left to right. And bringing your left leg in front straight to the pigeon pose. Bending the knee 90 degrees and settling down to melt into mat with straight spine. A folding the body forward to the front leg, bending the elbows to rest in pigeon pose, forward down to arms. Use your arms and taking the back leg in front and bending the front leg closer into groin. 
try to flex the foot underneath and press the leg down and reach forward to the extended leg as far as you can reach now hug the bent leg with your opposite arm and turn to look back Matsindrasan if you think you can advance, you can take the leg to the other side and twist in more for spine. Releasing the pose and getting yourselves up straight to the downward facing dog. Lifting both the heels up and down to ground. Bringing your right leg in front and sitting straight into the pigeon's pose. Erecting the spine. Holding both your arms and placing the forehead down to arm. Hold and breathe. Swing to bring the leg forward. Bending in your right leg this time. Running your hands down to the extended leg and folding the head forward to where you can reach. Coming up to hug the leg. Pushing the leg into chest with your left arm and turn to look at your right shoulder. Releasing the asin, straight into Pakshi Muttanasin. Legs are separated to hip distance apart, flexing foot underneath. Inhale, hands up, looking up the sky. Exhale, imagine there is a wall in front of you. You're going to push to reach down, forehead down. Going as deep as you can, getting deeper into the asin. You can bend the knees in case if you are tight on hamstrings. And taking both your hands back, fingers facing you, and getting into a nice reverse plank. Aligning your neck, spine in one plane. and release. Coming straight into the Garland Pose or Malasin. Separating legs wider than hips, feet is down. Hands on Namaste going to the insides of your legs. Pushing the legs away from you. Spine is kept erect. Hands on Namaste. Good work everyone, let's come to seated on the mat, this time spreading legs out, nice and wide. Flex your foot underneath and try to press your legs down to mat. 
interlock your fingers and shoot your hands right in front of you, aiming to move forward and back. If you feel super tight on your hamstrings, the back of your legs, you can maybe bend your knees and feeling that good open on hips, creating more blood circulation. And sliding both your hands down to legs, holding your toes if you can. And dropping forehead down for the pancake fold. Janusirasan, extending one leg, bringing the other into the groin. Getting hold of the big toe, if not just hold your leg wherever you can. Side bend your body, taking the top hand overhead. Stretch and hold. Cartwheel your hands, drop it down to ground, lift your hips up high. Hold. Switch to the other side. Janusirasan. Cards wheeling the hands to take it right back to lift your hips up high, hold. And relax back down. And moving on to the last segment, getting into the supine lying position. Setu Pandasana or the pelvic bridge, bringing your legs in closer to your body, holding your ankles, and reaching your hips up as far as you can high. Squeeze your glutes and pull your abs into spine. Release it down. Bringing one knee into chest. Ankle rotations, rotating ankle. Return to the other side. Now grabbing the arch of the foot if you can and dropping the knee down lower to the ground. Opening for hips. And let's switch and do the same thing for the other leg. Knee drawn into chest and ankle rotations. Return rotations to the other side. Now grabbing the arch of the foot or wherever you can to drop knee down low, hold. Knees go right into chest, Pavana Muktasin or the wind release pose. Now lifting the head up high, crunching inward for the child in the womb. Ananda Balasin or the happy baby pose, grabbing the arch of the feet and opening the legs to dropping knees down low. 
Now swaying your body side to side. Beautiful open for hips and passive massage for the lower back. And relax. Lifting both your legs up straight to sky. You can hold your legs in case if you want. And staying straight up for Uttan Padasan or the double leg lift for reverse blood circulation and lymphatic drainage. Pressing the spine down to the mat, relaxing shoulders. And now taking one leg over to the other. And dropping both your legs down to one side. Twist in for spine. Supta Matsyandrasan. Lengthen your opposite arm above your head. Hold. Switch sides, taking leg over to the other and dropping the legs down, twisting spine. Extending the opposite arm above the head. Supta Patta Konasin or the reclining cobbler's pose. Feet together, knees apart. Spreading your legs out nice and wide. You can maybe pulse your knees for more intensity. And trying to relax and sink into the asana. And back to center, upside down seal pose. Let's prepare our body for that. Bringing your knees into chest, lifting legs up. And try to lift your body and hold your hips. Elbows are your good anchor point, so try to press using your triceps. And reaching the legs up high. Beautiful blood circulation on the reverse. And take your time to slowly release your legs and then your spine rolling down to the mat. The fish pose, extending both your legs out straight and coming up onto your forearms on the reverse. And looking at world upside down, chin up to sky, sealing your lips and hold, opening chest and shoulders. And slowly dropping chin down to chest. And release. Finishing movement with some breath work or pranayamas. Coming down to seated on the mat. Right hand to bend in for index and tall finger. Ring and pinky to close your left nostril. Inhale to the right. Close your right, exhale to the left nostril. Inhale through the left nostril. Close the left, exhale to right. Inhale through right. Close to exhale left. Inhale to left. 
close to exhale right. Inhaling right. Close exhale left. Inhaling left. To close, exhale right. Yoni Mudra for womb gesture. Touching thumb to thumb and index finger to finger. Bending the rest of the fingers to touch each other. Placing your hands right in front of your navel. Erect your spine, relax your shoulders, and close your eyes. Bring in all the positive vibes into your body, taking nice deep inhales and exhales, breathing into mudra. And release. Relaxing shoulders and dropping head down to one side. And switch. Chin down to chest. and chin up. Rubbing the palms together, forming the heat on your palms. And gently cupping down palms to eyeballs. Take a deep inhale through nose and exhale with mouth open, say Inhale, exhale, bringing hands down to heart center as we bow down for this practice with a grateful heart for the time and the energy that's spent. Thank you so much for moving with me today. I really hope that this made you feel good. Come back to this practice whenever you need it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Until next time, Namaste.